So let's just save it to the database. So we can say video and let's give it name as video object which simply means that an instance of our video model class video and you know that to the video model class we have to pass we have to pass this information okay to the constructor basically user id name video id up to the published date so what we can do one by one we can say first of all we have the user id to pass so the user id we can get from the authentication instance we can say firebase auth dot instance dot current user dot uid then comes the username so in order to get the username what we can do is we can get it from the database directly so we can simply say that document snapshot document snapshot let's give it proper name that is user document snapshot firebase firestore dot instance dot collection and we want to get from all users in the firestore database we want that specific user record who is an online user and who is going to upload that video so we can simply say here dot document firebase or dot instance dot current user dot uid dot get so that specific user record we want to get from the users main collection so what it will do it will basically get this piece of code it will get the online user information the current user information from the firestore database and that we can access using this user document snapshot so for example if you want to get the username now we will just say that user document document snapshot at parenthesis first user document snapshot dot data as map string dynamic So what we want to get, we want to get from the database that online user name. So we have to specifically mention the key name. That is what information we want to get. For example, if you want to get the UID, then we can also do that by simply typing here like UID. Okay, so it will automatically, that is, it will basically retrieve the UID of this online user let's say if this is the current user okay so we will get the name of that user and let's say if we want email then we can simply say email like this okay so in the current scenario we need the name so what we can do we can just write name key okay so whatever the value of this name key is it will just get it for example let's say if john is if John is currently online user and he is going to upload a video so it will get the John record that is this complete record okay when I say this this piece of code will basically get this whole information of this online user so now here we want specific information and that information is basically the name so it will get John underscore 34 okay so yeah username will be John underscore 34 that's simple okay then comes the video ID so the video ID is this video ID so we can say video ID then of course the total comments so at the start of course it will have zero comments and of course the share count the total shares it will also be zero then likes list of course it will be empty at the start since there will be no like then the artist song name so that is basically which the user type inside the input field on the upload form screen so we can say artist
and we have description tags the value of which is inside this okay and then of course the video download URL so which is video download URL then the thumbnail image so we can say thumbnail download URL and then finally the last one which is the published date for this video so we can get the current date that is dead time dot now dot millisecond since epoch and of course one thing which we forgot is basically the profile image of that user who is going to upload this video to database so for that we have to add here another one and that will be user user image or you can say profile image let's give it proper name user profile image okay please use the same names okay otherwise later you will get confused so user profile image and then we can say here that this dot user profile image and then of course here we can add and then here as well so user profile image okay so now we can say user profile image the value of which we can get from the user information which is coming from the database and from the database let's say if john is the online user then his profile picture we can access from this okay the key name for this is image so we can just say get the image of that user which is the profile image so this is our video object in which we have this complete video information which we will now first convert to json format of course as a json object or you can say as a json in json format we will save this overall information to the firestore database so after this we can simply say So the all videos information we will save inside the Firestore database under the main collection which will be by the name videos and under that each video we will save by their unique uh, ID by their unique video ID so we can say dot document and of course each video will have their own video ID and then we can say dot set and as I told you we will save this as a JSON object so we can simply say that video object which is basically our information okay which contain this whole video information and which is in proper simple format so in, in order to save it to the database we will convert that to JSON so we can say video object dot to JSON and you know that it is basically this one okay to convert the data to JSON so yeah it will basically save the information to the Firestore database and once it is uploaded successfully then what we will do we will simply send the user to the home screen And then of course we will just let the user know that your video is uploaded successfully so we can simply say get dot snake bar and the message will be new video and we can tell to the user that is you have successfully shared your shared or you can say uploaded basically you have successfully uploaded your new video and of course we will also show some you know the animation the circular animation so and also when the user click on the upload form when the user click on the upload now button 
we will first show the animation so what we can do is we can simply say set state show progress bar equals to so it will start displaying the progress bar